Hello Year 3, 4. Welcome back to Friday's lesson. I hope you enjoyed writing on Wednesday. I know it can be a little bit strange writing at home, but you've had such great imaginative ideas. I'm really excited to read your final piece of writing. Today our objective is I improve my writing, which I know can feel a bit tricky when you think you're finished and you're done, but we're going to have a little look at some of the ways that we can go a little bit further. Here I've started off with something simple that I've written in short simple sentences and how I've moved it to add detail looking at those adverbs and some really nice adjectives so that I can build these paragraphs. So, Jess walked over to the tree. Jess fell down a hole. She fell into a maze of tunnels and met a wise old hare. Hello. Hello, she said. Jess carefully stepped closer to the squirrel's nut store. She crouched down quietly and strained her eyes to peer into the darkness of the hollow. She thought she saw a light, a glow. She stretched to look further in. Whoosh! The crumbling soil had shifted under her flimsy summer shoes, causing her to lose her balance. Deep below the lush green turf, Jess tumbled through a maze of tunnels until, eventually, she came to a stop. Dusting herself off, she listened so hard she held her breath. Could it just be the sound of her heart beating? Welcome, whispered a dry, raspy voice. Uh, uh, hello, stammered the startled girl. OK, so you can see that I've used different words to describe where the squirrel was keeping its nuts instead of just using the word tree. I've been really detailed about what's happening. OK, I've used those verbs to say that she strained her eyes to peer into the darkness rather than just say she looked in the hole. I've described that the soil was crumbling by using an adjective to really give us a clear picture of what's happening to that noun. And I've developed the paragraphs so that I can talk about what's happening above the ground and then be really clear that I've started a new paragraph to talk about underneath the ground and what's below. I've remembered to use a new line when there's a new speaker and I've remembered to use capital letters and punctuation inside of those speech marks. OK, so I'm going to remind you of our success criteria. We're writing in the third person, so we're writing about other characters, not ourselves. We're going to use rich vocabulary, so that means looking really carefully at not repeating words like tree or girl or squirrel. I wrote furry creature instead. We're going to be using those adverbs or adverbial phrases to tell us how something's happening or where something's happening. And we're really going to try and extend our writing so that we can form clear paragraphs talking about different people, different times, and different places. We're going to do that by using really clear sentence openers, rather than starting with the character's name every time. OK, so today your learning is to read over your writing really carefully. Read it out loud to somebody at home and see what you can add to it. You might write it again, um, so that you've got space to add those details in. But I'm so looking forward to seeing what you've written. And I know that the other Year 3, 4 teachers are as well. Take care, everybody, and hopefully see you very soon. Oh, I nearly forgot. I've got a lovely picture for you. Here is another picture of our new puppy, Seffi. And there's Hazel taking her out for a walk. She hasn't had her injections yet, so she's not allowed to walk on the ground. So we've put her in an old rucksack and she gets to go for a walk in the village. Hopefully Sophie will be able to come and see you all next year.